all the new people in the film, because everyone knows I was very happy with the original cast, and, but I was really pleased with all of the new people in the film. I thought they were great, really good. The things that I always look forward to seeing on screen, like Quidditch, for example, um, do not disappoint. They're wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And the forest scene as well. The Hogwarts looks um, as near as you can make it to the Hogwarts that I envisage in my imagination. One of the most visually exciting things I've ever seen. Um, great story, would say that, wouldn't I? <laughs> I wrote it. The visual effects and, and the special effects are stunning, really stunning. Um, and it sounds a stupid thing to say, but they, sat, they, they look so real. I, it's rare, for me anyway, that I look at a film like that and, um, and I'm not distracted by thinking, well, how did they do that? And I wasn't doing that at all. I was, I was just watching it and, and accepting that Dobby really was d jumping up and down on Harry's bed, so that's obviously wonderful. Dobby's really, really good. And the Mandrakes, superb. I really love the Mandrakes. They always say the second novel is the hardest to write, and it was very hard to write. But I... I was quite proud of it when I'd finished. And I'm also aware, as no one else can be, how important it is in the overall plot of all seven books. I mean, uh, key things happen in book two. Um, and no one, but, no, one, no one knows how important those things are yet. There's a lot in there. And I know how difficult it was to get it all in there without it looking as though it was... Um, without drawing too much attention to the clues. So... Um, so yeah, I was, I was concerned to see that all, all the important stuff got into the film, and it has done, it has. More than the first story, where Harry is buffeted around by circumstance a little more, this time he makes conscious choices to go, I mean, more so, I would say, than in the first film and book, to go looking for trouble, really. <laughs> the first one is episodic, you have individual adventures, it chops and changes more, and I remember when we were working on the script to Philosopher's Stone, that was something that came up continually, wasn't it, that you have these... Um, sort of discrete adventures um, and chamber is, is a more it's a, it's a more linear structure so it was easier to translate to screen I think Alfonso who's our new director is going to be wonderful I really really think he's going to be wonderful so um, uh, in the best possible sense I'm, I'm quite pleased I'm pleased but uh, Chris is still involved and I still see a lot of him so that's that's good too I'm very fond of all the all three children I think it was superb casting they're really good He's loathsome, really, isn't he? But he does that very well, and in a very funny way. I don't know that I would have immediately thought Kenneth Branagh for Gilderoy, and yet I think, I think he did a fam fabulous job. I really, he made me laugh. And I obviously know the jokes are coming, so if he makes me laugh, that's pretty good going. Um, yeah, I thought he was very good. We have uh, Lucius Malfoy, obviously, uh, and I thought he was excellent. He looks a lot like Draco's father as well. I got quite a shock when I saw him in the, with the long blonde hair. It was good. I loved Mr. Weasley, Mark Williams. I thought he was great. 